Good morning everyone. As you can see, the sun is shining here in Prague. Morning guys. You can probably hear there's quite a wind blowing today, which is good because yesterday when I came in was super, super hot. Although I have lost my sunglasses. I hate losing my sunglasses and I basically get blind. The next three days I'm gonna go blind. Yeah, uh, that's the truck, but there's no one here. So <laughs> I'm gonna go and find my accreditation. No. <laughs> Damn it! That there is the main man, Mr. Jan Vert, who is prepared for the shot 20 seconds before the athlete comes on. That is what takes a pro. Right. With number 12, Sorato Andraku from Japan. So my job during qualifying is to pick the people that we film for the qualifying highlights. We have to film that man, Hannes van Dyson. You good? Yeah. All right. Certain Adam Ondra is back, uh, so we're going to go and film him in a minute. Uh, but we have to wait because. He's coming towards the end of the rankings because he's not up the rankings because he hasn't done any comps. So we have to wait for him to compete and get him on the right boulder. So that's the plan. Thank you! No, I like it, but you can play with it if you want when I have... Uh, when I'm actually busy you can't some, say uh, you, adult stuff, you know? You can't say that. Okay, we're going on a venue tour, and this is a hard one to time because we want to get it between the athletes not being in the isolation and then uh, but there's being enough people and we have to show the isolation and the food tents and all the rest and the athletes are going in and it's, it's stressful, but it'll be fine, fine. I've got the pro. He's a, there he, he's a pro, where is he? There he is, pro. The thing that protects my microphone from the wind has gone. It's blown away, ironically, in the wind. Uh, so if you can't hear me, I'm sorry. I presume it will be fine. Sent HP plus boulder. trying to get in a taxi or the van that we think might be that one luckily Jan speaks Czech so he's sorting it he sorted it out so this is my commentary box uh, every event is completely different and sometimes it's on a table with an umbrella sometimes it's in a box like this uh, hopefully it's facing the stage because I like to feel that atmosphere a little bit. Just sort of ease myself into this. Go find some start lists, get the internet sorted out, go look at the routes. Hello. Hello. I have some start lists. Merci. Toute la journée. I'm ticking through my to-do list. I found the commentary box. I've got the start list. I've chatted to Olga. Oh, where is she? Olga. Oh, there, there she I've chatted to Olga. I've ch <laughs> I think I'm done. Hello Cody. Hey, what's going on? I'm good man, you good? I'm doing great. 
Adam Omri gets his first top of the semi finals. Me too, I have got it. No, it's a so to let you guys know what's happened is we've lost all power in the commentary box. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go outside. Hang on, wait a second. Okay, it's almost time uh, for the finals. I didn't know where we were. Men's finals. So this afternoon, I had a bit of time off. I went for a run. I then sorted out a few things here, which I should have vlogged, but I didn't, I'm sorry, but had to sort out a pass for Chloe, who's my co-commentator, because she forgot it, and also she needs better access because she's got to get to the stage to do the interviews afterwards. So that's done, starting list prepared, everything ready to go. Whew, it's a big, this is a big event. There's everything, and here's... To see if he switches to a toe, I imagine he might see a top here. She also needs the match up. It easily does it with the other face. And he's crossed. And he knows what that means. The crowd go crazy. The lights flash on stage. And Adam will take a long time in front of those great ones and sunsets to enjoy this. Since the World Cup is back in Czechia, and uh, you know, the, the only World Cup that I took place. Uh... Who, who are you guys waiting for? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, good morning. I am in the commentary box. Just trying to finish the article for UKC. Uh, yeah, good day today. Feel a bit strange. Think just a bit tired. Um, but sort of, how far are we? We're an hour away from the broadcast, so excited to get going. Cody's coming back in. Music is pumping. The audience are flooding in. Uh, the sun is shining. Hello. <laughs> People are looking at me very weirdly, which is fair enough. Yeah, and you want a podcast at some point? Oh god. Studious. I'm uh, lying on the floor of my commentary box, mainly because it's quiet. There's a window there which is blowing some cool air. There's not enough time to quite go back to the hotel. I want to try to do a podcast with Jan Vert if I can. So I'm staying at the venue and I'm really tired and my back really hurts. So I'm lying on the hard ground, enjoying myself, watching YouTube on my phone and just taking a moment to myself to hide. That's okay. Okay, it's time for me to check out the final boulders. There they are behind me. And this is an opportunity for me to work out what's going on. And for example, this yellow one, right? On the TV screen, it, it's gonna be at one angle and we might not see the fact that there's a blocker on it and the blocker is dual tech. So I need to know these things to tell you guys what's going on with it. So what I do is I come and look at the boulders myself and then I talk to a root setter and I find out intended beta, I find out which one's hard, if they've changed them, if there's a method, if there's a trick. Basically as much knowledge as I can get so I'm as prepared as possible for when the athletes come and climb them. Because if, if I'm trying to work out what's going on at the same time as you're trying to work out what's going on, I do a terrible job. So <laughs> that's the thing. But also I really enjoy this part. It's such a privilege. Look, everyone is like testing the roots. The audience is out there. And I get to stand on the mats where Yanya and Adam and everyone get to go. It's such a privilege. I'm so lucky. There's never enough time to eat afterwards because we have to do interviews. Um, I've got to write scripts and I've got to write articles. So I tend to forget to eat. So if I don't eat now, I won't eat. I'm trying to eat. <laughs> How cool was that, eh? Noriane Berton taking victory. Yeah, very happy. Well, I think, you know what? I'm going to call it a vlog day. That's it. 
Congratulations to all the athletes, the returning Yanya, Flavi, Orian, everyone from the men, all the stuff. I'm going to be doing more vlogs in a couple of days, so I don't know when this will come out, but soon as, hopefully. See you guys soon. Thank you very much. Bonne nuit.